Please put your mobiles silent. Please fill up the attached form to take your feedback for more development in future uh, events. Please note that the interpretation is available. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I welcome you all on behalf of His Excellency Dr. Jamal Sand Sawedi, the CEO of the ECSSR, for your attendance this evening. This lecture is titled Documenting Local History, Reality and Aspiration, delivered by His Excellency Jamal bin Huayred, the CEO of Muhammad bin Rashid Al Maktoum Knowledge Foundation, member of the executive of Muhammad bin Rashid Initiative of GLOB and the deputy president of development education in the UAE. His Excellency Jamal bin Huwairib is a historian and scholar. He has a great deal of experience documenting the culture and creative movement. In addition to his experience in poetry and education, he has issued a number of books for... Now I would like to invite His Excellency Jamal bin Hayr to deliver his speech. Thank you very much. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. First, I am honored to be part of this evening gathering. I was also honored for the invitation of my brother, Dr. Jamal Sened al Suedi, to speak about a topic that is crucial. that is loved by everybody and is overlooked by everyone. I had great passion about it since I was my early days and thought that when I get addicted to this science things will be beautiful, amazing and easy as it is the case in big countries and advanced countries that document even the number of birds in the sky but with the advancement of my age and the passage of days and getting deeper into this uh, valuable science, I found a different issue. I found that this science is not easily accessible. It is like penetrating uh, a tree That's why we have a family named Ben Qatada. It's not easy to penetrate it due to the the conflict events and lack of documentation. And this science is not valuable and is not evaluated by people because they don't leave a document. They don't. Uh, reserve a, tr a transcript, they don't record events, they don't keep a picture or a fur furniture or a door or a dress. Everybody is looking for the new car, new dress, new furniture, new house. If somebody moves from a house to house they throw everything they throw everything that has been there for many years nothing is left and those who deceive they will immediately do this this old man has died throw everything 
accept the sale and purchase document or land title anything else of papers and documents will be burnt and thrown somebody found a transcript whose age is more than 120 years old that was thrown in a, a garbage bin that was one one of them is my friend Ali Matrushi who found it in a, a garbage place and many other things therefore talking about the history of this great country has a lot of things and my statement to my brothers here that documenting of local history between reality and aspiration is a beautiful and attractive address and title but in myself it has a lot of sighs and pains and sorrows for the past years that have passed while I am seeing the history and documents thrown and disposed of a man went to a man who has knowledge and who tells who recites the Holy Quran if somebody gets sick this person was born at the beginning of the century at Jumeirah in Dubai if anybody was born he would he would record him if he dies he will record if somebody says poetry he will record the poetry if and if any incident takes a place he will record it because he's a man of education because he got his education from some sheikhs some scholars in these books he has written the memories of history of this region he passed away in 1991 but his family threw and put all these books on fire they burnt it all this is what they are they have been doing this has been repeated over and over again owners of old companies have no papers left owners of old houses have nothing left no furniture and nothing else a, a man came to this person in Jumeirah before six months before his death and wrote up a poem about him consisting of 50 verses about a person passing passing away at the beginning of 60s which he recited from the same person which was not in his book which is a historical poem about a certain topic after six months he died then his children did what they did to his papers they were not said they did not say that we lost this information this education and this history they were not sad this is happening frequently everywhere on the other hand I I visited a museum in Berlin where we can speak in front a person who is attending with us in the Eastern Berlin Museum I was looking for pictures for a German a person who visited Abu Dhabi and Dubai in 1902 I called the woman who studied these pictures in 1971 I asked the manager of the museum how did these pictures arrive here 
he said that in 19 in 1909 this German was killed in Yemen this photographer was killed in Yemen and his uh, memories and pictures were moved to Berlin and his nephew after many years and gave us these pictures and these memories so we kept these pictures these valuable pictures that show Sheikh Zayed while sitting in front of Al Hassan the castle and showing his children on horses, on Zayed horses. Who did this? His nephew who was killed in Yemen. He took the pictures and was afraid that they will be lost and gave them as a gift to the museum. Then in 1994 studies of these pictures and this journey started after a long time but for us we don't keep a picture furniture a document a letter we keep nothing no ministries departments establishments companies or even houses everything we have we throw Although centuries have passed for these, everything we have is a throne. People of Najd keep their documents. I asked them, why do you keep these documents and works? He said, one of them said, maybe there is an estate for me. There might be a land for me. Why should I throw them? That's why keeping documents in Najd and Ahsa because they are modernized people. And secondly, they say that there, there might be some kind of a need, a land that might show up. But here, keep, here they keep nothing. Any one of you who keeps or realizes that somebody has kept, please tell me. Because today, in this country, I don't know, but very rare persons who have kept their documents and the documents of families. Just throw what you have while you are going on. Talking has a lot of indications. And I am the, the person who is alarming for this. If you don't keep your history and save it, nobody from outside will keep it and preserve it. Your history is threatened because you don't care about the UAE's history. Because of negligence that is engraved, they don't keep a picture. Pictures they don't keep, videos they don't keep. Televisions have lost all their old videos. Only few doc few videos are left. Radios and the newspapers rarely keep. Our teacher here knows everything. If you want to look for your modern history after 1971, we find difficulty in that. So how about talking about history before that date? The questions I will talk about and I want you to think about them. Question one, do you benefit from history? Do you think that the UAE history is important? How have you benefited from the UAE's history? Where do you go to know the UAE's history? Has the whole history of the UAE been published? Does media today help in documenting and publishing the UAE's history? Do publishers care about publishing the UAE's history? Do we have historians or matures for history? Do we have documented magazines for the history do we benefit from our archives 
what is the status of the UAE's history today? And finally, what do you expect for our history in the future? These are questions out of 100 questions, but if I will give these 100 questions, nothing will be finished today. How to do you benefit from history? This is a question. I am asking you, do you benefit from the history? The person who benefits from history, please raise your hand. Accept the historians. Only four or five persons out of this crowd, even if they are 1,000, then there will be five or ten percent. Then why the 90 percent say we do not benefit from history? Because they don't know its value. It's just like disease. If the patient does not take medicine, they will not know its value. Benefiting from history is not valued except by those who need it and benefited from it in any way. Let me tell you a story in, a, in quick. Shishroni says that history is the witness of ages and light of truth and life of memory and teacher of life and messenger of old ages old ages in 19 and 2 king abdul aziz entered riyadh and started establishing the third saudi state the ruler of najd and riyadh by then a Rashid, he, he wanted to conquer Riyadh and King Abdulaziz Al Saud when he was young. Although he was young, but he, he knew history. He said, Go out of Riyadh. I don't want to repeat the mistake of my grandfather when he was sieged in Daria. They asked him to go out of Daria when he was besieged by Ibrahim Basha's armies but he did not go out he said I will be forfeited in Daria what happened then they destroyed Al Daria and he was he and his family with his uncles and everybody was who was there were taken as prisoners some of them were killed some were exiled this is the end of the first Saudi state in 19 and two or three, King Abdul Aziz, a young man who benefited from the lesson of history, he said that we will go to the desert. And they went. What they, who will fight? Who will fight in desert? Fight is inside the city. And a Rashid went back and did not went over him. Then Abdul Aziz went, went over him and destroyed him. History in its form is the witness of old ages and is a light of truths. You know about, you know through it, your friend and your enemy. It teaches men, establishments, companies, as well as governments, sheikhs and kings. It is the messenger of all days because it is the only one that is left. Therefore, do you think that the UAE's history is important? Anybody thinking that the UAE's history is important, please raise your hand. Everybody has raised their hand. When I, when I asked, do you benefit from history, you said no. And this is related to this. 
this is related to this. If you say we benefited from history, then you will say that the UAE's history is important. Speech real or not? There are political calls and fierce disputes and aggression by some opponents of the UAE who are spread on social media, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and they are attacking the UAE symbols, those historical symbols. They are attacking our history, fiercely attacking it. They are deforming the image of the UAE. That's why when we say our history, the history of UAE is important. I mean what I say. Those who raise their hands know that the value of this history is priceless. If we knew that the, the value of the UAE's history is great against such nonsense persons, compared to the achievements and civilization of the UAE, what would we benefit from the history? What would we benefit from the history? I will let this answer till the end of the lecture. My question to you is, where do you go to know the history of the UAE today? Archive. To the archives, research centers. I asked, I raised the questions to the followers they said, 20% of them, they said in books, on the internet, 36, on social media, 7%, through senior nationals, 37%. If we say senior nationals, their ages range, when they disappear, where will they go? Now, senior nationals, may God protect them. But what after then? They will not be senior nationals. They will go to the internet. Because there are no books or publications. And you will see that historical publication in the UAE does not exist and there are there there is focus on tv channels 50% because tv channels are delivering some history has the a history or is history been documented i asked my followers they said 54 of them said it's weak. It means that the history of the UAE was not documented. 23 of them say there is no documentation. So 54 plus 23 equals 77 say nothing. Therefore, if we go back to the question, where to go to know the history? The answer is weak. There's nothing. Does media help in documenting and publishing the history of UAE? Which is the seventh and eighth question they mentioned. 66% of them, I don't benefit from newspapers for history. They also mentioned of 42% of them said that we don't benefit from Dubai, Sharjah, or Abu Dhabi channels. Although 
Sharjah got the high rank. Although people look for history, the young people, they look for it, but they don't find a resort to go to it. I mentioned that senior nationals, may God keep them safe and give them, keep them long living, are also about to live. We are all about to live. Therefore, who document history if the senior nationals die and we have no documentation or books? And we have nations who are living with us and know nothing about us. Does media help? No. At the same time, look at this. Look at these pictures. The history of the evil emirate of Abu Dhabi. Uh, blood transformation of Al Nahyan. Tahnoon bin Zaid is the shadow Amir. I have compiled more than 1,000 pictures that include the continuous deformation of the UAE history that is bright, the history of Abu Dhabi, of Al Nahyan, and Al Maktoum because of the bad neighbors. You, can, you cannot find on YouTube except these videos that are considered bad and deforming. Just write UAE history or Abu Dhabi history and you will find everything that is bad and misleading the public opinion. Where are the historians? Where are the documenting persons? Where is the media to confront such liars? who are lying against the UAE. Every day I find the new videos assault, insulting the UAE, Abu Dhabi and Dubai, the whole UAE, to our sheikhs, to our history. These are some of the pictures. This person names himself Mansour Khalfan and he puts the picture of our uh, ambassador in Washington, Mr. Al Utayba. He's talking about our history. He's specialized in the UAE's history, but always to mock it. Therefore, young people, if they write UAE history, as you see at the top, UAE history, if you look for it in Twitter, you will find all this mockery about our history. You, the same applies to Facebook and Instagram. A question. Does publishers care about publishing the UAE's history? Five. Weak. 54%. Weak. When when you search in any library, Frauka, Deva, and Faleh, and everybody interested in documenting our history have done everything. Have, they have saved no efforts, but these are few books. If you enter into any national library and put the numbers of these books, you will find that the UAE's history occupies a small portion of that, very few numbers that are not to be mentioned even. Therefore, documenting and publishing the history of UAE is very few in all libraries in the UAE. And you don't find it in bookshops, but very few. But what is digitally available, and now young people, where they look for books? They will look for it digitally. 
only you can find three books about the history of UAE. I only found three books. The remaining books are not there. My question is, are there academic historians in the UAE? Not those who are writing the UAE's history. 41 said yes, but a few. 22% said there are no his historians and this is a catastrophe. 32 said we don't know. So what's left? 5%? Is this, is, is this the reward of the good deed? Is this the, re the return of the good deed of the OAE? It's favors for us. They have positioned us at the forefront of people at ease in security and safety and tranquility. They gave us the best salaries and everything. Is this how we reward it? We reward it by making the book that documents the huge achievements by our government. This is our reality, weak, 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 negative, negative, negative. Ibn Khaldun says, history apparently does not exceed be telling stories, but at its essence is consideration and investigation. Therefore, we need we need immature persons or we need investigators. History needs investigators. Everybody I see today writing and searching for the history are bringing big problems and catastrophes. They're bringing news and wrong inferences. History needs consideration and investigation. Do we have magazines? Do we have precise, concise magazines? They said we have Liwa. But my magazine that I publish and other historical magazines are three, two or three here. We don't consider them as concise. But in Liwa, I find different researches for immature who are writing in the magazine of the National Archives. Do we benefit from our archive centers? 44% said the National Archive, 24 said uh, Sheikh Sultan Qasimi Center. Sheikh Sultan has a huge role in collecting the history of UAE. And also Sheikh Mansour bin Zaid, may Allah protect him and all other sheikhs because of his support of the National Archive. Also Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamdan for reviving the heritage. But when you go to them, you don't find reviewers, only few reviewers you find there. They have made available documents on the internet as the British Library has made available. But it is a document that you need to understand the uh, writing, but they have not made researches that we can refer back to. Look at, look at that map, please. They published a map for 1,552.50 for Ben yes, that was discovered, and they are talking about it. I published a research mentioning that this is not the same Ben yes we have. This is an area above Aden. The evidence about this is in 1799, mentioning the exact date. They put it on Instagram in videos and published articles 
even the National Archive must verify before publishing such information because there are books that are written using this wrong piece of information. The fact is we have a few investigators and there are there are there are persons who want to publish at the expense of the on the account of the truth. How many do we have? Three minutes. What do you think is the uh, current status of the UAE history? This question is for you. What do you think about it? Weak or strong? I'm talking about history. I have the book. I want to say an important thing. The current st the status quo of the UAE history is, today is weak. But you have since 1971 a great history. Our our founding sheikhs and their followers left us with a great history if we want to document since 1971 till today we will not be able to document history leave everything before 71 even we have hist we had history before that before i go to the history of five years ago I want to document the history after 71 till today. What should I do with a history that has had passed a long time ago? We have establishments, companies, ministries and departments that need to document. If we go back off before 71, there is important history but because we have a few investigators and those who and publishers who uh, are caring about our national history and the publications of our national archives we feel embarrassed in front of this young generation that needs a lot of information to understand that there is a great nation, a great history, and great nation. If you know the fact, if you f if you know the reality, what will you expect for our future, our history in future? Will it remain the same? Kaif. How? Are you prepared to change this status, Sir Labid? I am tired. Let me tell you. I want. Do you know this piece of information? History gives us a lesson about the uh, ancestors to be prepared for the fluctuations of time and overseeing the future. We have the examples, been comparisons between countries and people. All of these are advantages of the science of history. If we lack historical series, no historical documentaries, no videos on YouTube, no documented magazines, no historical books. Do you think that our history will survive in the future? It will not survive. That's why we will not benefit from overseeing the future and we will not be prepared for the future. This is a, a series 
for the most important poetic personality in the UAE, namely Al Majidi bin Dahir. The style, neither the style, the language, or reading the poetry is correct. Not even the dialect is correct. They have shown persons dealing with camels, which relates nothing to the UAE because women and men do not deal with the camels and riding them, which has nothing to do with how the Bedouin deals with their camel or even holding the stick or even uh, holding the lace. The dress is wrong. Delivering the poetry is weak, but even the construction of the tents is completely wrong. They haven't observed the heritage because the Emirati Bedouin never built, never built a, an, a, a house that is open from front because they open it from the south. That's why they are called southern. They use some kind of mesh to cover it. If I write or read to you about the mistakes of this series, it will be very shameful. A series that, that has been sub, that on which a lot of money and efforts have been exerted and spent. Why haven't they got some expert from the region about the dialect mode of construction and how a Bedouin deals with camel? Our channels need somebody to support them. Our writers and archives need those to support them. And universities are mostly closed. By this I close. Colleges of history have no students, including my daughter. My daughter has graduated. When she wanted to study history, they said, wait for female students to be with you. She waited and waited, but later, then she changed her major because the college did not open its doors for her. And discovered that, that every time the college has a, a student, they tell her, go to another major. That's why they have not opened this branch of science. We want historians without colleges and universities and we will be will remain with immature historians, those who gather wood at night because they will either take the wood or catch the snake. That's why they call him the wood, nighty wood. Thank you very much. Shukran Thank you, Your Excellency Jamal bin Huwaira, for this great lecture that talk, talking about documenting the history of UAE so that UAE young persons can benefit from it towards delivering the future. Now we have opened the door for delivering, for raising your questions. Please stand up and introduce yourself and give a brief uh, a description about yourself so that we enable everybody to participate. Please. Good evening, Your Highness, Your Excellency. Thank you very much for delivering this. I am a strategic analyst and researcher. For the first time, you leave people in front of you having a lot of questions about this great knowledge, which is a good path for any lecturer, because if you want to look to leave a good trace for the audience, leave them question because the good researcher looks, always looks for information and knowledge. What I have is only few additions because, because the last addition was the essence of my topic because you already answered it. 
you already have diagnosed the start the state during crises or defensive security or historical topics we analytically and academically focus on is it a priority to handle the effects or look for the causes if you want a shortcut solution then look for the effects and forget about the causes for the next year as i understood from you you want us to look for the causes that has resulted in these figures because these figures are shy my question is because you have raised a lot of questions the uae has a lot of tools at all levels strong and effective and influential tools but i think that the issue is in that how to use and utilize these tools let me give you this example based on my experience in the uae i have participated in many hundreds of conferences forums workshops on the regional and international levels and i have never found a workshop or forum or center that calls for anybody having any paper about the UAE's history that's why we want to employ the the history the paper the history papers in universities for the scientific uh, research thank you very much good evening ahmed shabib al dahiri thank you my brother uh, jamal my question is in continuation of documenting history we are countries suffering a lack of identity these countries that build their identity on a wide uh, scope that should uh, which should be wider based on human considerations that should be part of the uh, uae identity now by documenting our local history do we benefit from exposing our identity and documenting it thank you very much Good evening. Khadija from Morocco, a parliamentary member, a resident of the UAE for more than 30 years. Thank you very much for this lecture. I have two questions. Question number 1 because I follow uh, I track your work the UAE the history of UAE and GCC countries is verbal because the documenting history depend on the age category that was uh, living that age has that age been documented now after the passage of 5 years because i have read an article for you in al bayan on uh, june 19 2015 you said that the old history that is unknown that was not documented but with a few news and poetry that are uh, with some colonized documents uh, and jour journey persons from the west they have a few witnesses unquote based on that we know that documenting history in gcc and uae was not we are i'm asking has it taken a place or not my second question is we notice that the uae because of its great sheikhs has established many history and heritage centers that were established for preserving this part and uh, reserving it from deterioration has these have these books been documented and is it possible to find them secondly my second question these achievements can the academic historians and researchers find them thank you very much Yes. Regarding the uh, the first uh, speaker, the doctor, the reasons are known. 
and their solution is easy it's not difficult if we want that Dr. Saleh the effort of Dr. Faleh David and uh, some brothers the, some brother historians no I am I'm talking about your efforts very few efforts compared to other matters like for example focusing on the sports aspect which is not less important than the cultural aspect but one on a sports game cost the country more than 7 million dirhams only one match what if we spend the same amount on documenting our history one topic we dedicate the amount we spend on a match for documenting history nothing will be lost these solutions could be easily found found out of 10 conferences we dedicate one conference for our history nothing is lacking it will not affect us it will improve and document our history um, regarding mr ahmed do we have an identity without history identity is taken of identifying somebody so who is he is a historical question so without asking who is he that's why somebody was talking about hawiya which means the drift so falling which is wrong it is hawiya now without identity there is no history you and me are connected by our historical identity without it there is no history and without history there is no identity regarding my sister i could not i could not memorize everything you have mentioned but a lot of documents are there in the arch archive but who looks for this archive who search looks for these documents who exposes these documents for people who analyzes and publishes compiles and publishes this information in this country if we want to show up the history of UAE since 1971 till today we have more than thousands of volumes and documentaries and series but I don't see anything I see I hear a lot of talking but I don't see any actions David I hear a lot of talking but I don't see any actions the archives are there and have a lot of this science but it needs researchers and investigators who understand it because history must be interconnected names must be interconnected poems they said that this poem belongs to that person who was in the 14th century but I told them this is not correct it cannot be a poem that was said in the 14th century because that term was not used except in the 19th century therefore this poem cannot belong to the 14th century and this information is not correct because it took place after 150 years after him that's why the poet came after it not before it so if the person doesn't know about the incidents and and terms and ways of delivering speeches how can he distinguish between Ben Yes which exists in Eden 
or a Baniyas, which is a tribe in the UAE. How can he distinguish? That's why referring back to the archive is important, but for investigators, not for everybody. Therefore, the National Archives, especially our revered archive, must have 10 publica publications every month, not every year. We want documentaries, we want conferences, we want documenting this history before it is lost. Thank you. Anybody else? We have three questions. Thank you so much for your uh, enthusiasm, your passion for history, which I think many people obviously feel is important. I, I know that um, I've spoken to some of the, the senior Emiratis who are listed there, and when I've asked them, you know, why don't you write these things down, they're very shy about it. Why do you think there's a, a shyness to sort of pass on the history to the, the younger generation? Or is it just because I'm an expatriate and I shouldn't understand? If you asked, maybe they would reveal to you because of your passion for history. I just want you to tell everybody here. Uri, I want you to tell everybody how you wrote your book. Dr. Jamal for helping, not only helping me, but also for encouraging... Um, How many years? Two years. Two years. My best. You've done an excellent job. Yes. And I tell you one thing, the value of what I have learned and passed, being able to pass on, from the experience of what I've seen, has enabled me to give people who want to come and invest in this country the capability to say, look at what I've seen, what has been done, you should invest here because there's a future here in this country, because I've witnessed it, and you helped publicate it, and it's now going out across the world. I designed your book myself. You, you, you did it personally, and I appreciate that. Thank I'm you. very Thank grateful. You. Thank you. This mister has been here since the 60s. He was brought up in the UAE. I tried with him for two years, I, urging him to write his memories, his diaries. So he wrote his book and I designed it for, himself, for him by myself and we translated it. It was printed in English, now it will be printed in Arabic. The book has important pictures. Even one of the sheikhs, sheikhs and sent a copy of the book, a picture of from the book to her mother because it is the only picture that sh has their house in a line. It's the only picture that she could find. <laughs> he authored the book and his memories. I helped him. Every time I see him, I tell him, print your book. He has a lot of memories with Sheikh Zaid and before that. Yes, please. Last question. Thank you, Dr. Jamal. Uh, frankly, this lecture was a great story. What should be done for the history of UAE? Please allow me to give you a direct question. What can you do in what you said? Of course, there are persons who are interested in the UAE history. My hope is that you try to do what Dr. Jamal Sanad Sawedi did when he was managing the strategic Arab until he established this great center. Can you and a group of persons who are interested in the UAE's history to do what you said in this lecture? Marcus Jum al Majid has more than 1,500,000 documents. Sharika has, uh, has more than 50 million documents talking about the U.S. history. But eventually, I don't want the U.S. history to start in 1971. Because this is a mistake. Please allow me. This is a mistake that should not be committed. Because the U.S. history 
last uh, has lasted since more than 250 years and there were many dec many eras when Sheikh Zayed uh, took over in Al Ain he suffered and exerted a lot of efforts before he becomes the ruler of Abu Dhabi to unify the tribes thank you for me I write in the uh, in the Al-Bayani newspaper, I had uh, pages in the 90s. I have a program named Arawi, the teller. Now we are preparing for the 11th uh, series. I have a center on for, on my personal account. I have I have not received any donation to document the history of UAE. I have a magazine named Madarat. This volume has more than two million words. We have continuous sessions on YouTube, on the website. We document everything, but I repeat myself, I am one person. My children will not care about what I am doing. When somebody dies, they will remain what he did, but the state does not die. The state stays. So the individual effort, if it is an individual, if it remains individual, it will not continue. So the state as i mentioned 7 million 7 million dirhams is the the cost of a football match how many football matches do we have did we have in the uae calculate it but when i say since 1971 i say if for those who want to document since 71 they will find uh, thousands of volumes History before and after the Federation is important, but there is no excuse. Anybody who wants to document history, please document it. But now if we look for any book, we don't find. In, in, the, in Madarat issue, we find the military file. I translated it to my brothers. Now, this is the first time the uh, UAE's military history comes to the public. And in the coming days, the other issue will be generated. This is a great country. Why should we be lenient? It's a great government. I want continuity. Your statement that what did, did I do? I did very f little to this great country that has... Uh, it saved no effort for us. By the end of this lecture, I would like to thank, on behalf of uh, Dr. Sanad al Jamadi, the CEO of ECSSR, I would like to thank His Excellency Jamal bin Huayrb and you for your attendance and meeting. Seeing you soon. Thank you very much and have a good evening.